minute, wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop the intro. Stop the intro. If you haven't watched the first part of this video, go back and watch it. Should have a link pop up right here. Right here, right here, right here. Go back and watch it. You're gonna miss the first part. This is the second part. But uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button, hit the bell button so you'll get notifications when the next video comes out. And uh, don't forget to put on the comments below what you think of this video. All right, let the intro roll. That black rubber right here. Oh, okay, on the actual cover. Yeah. What happens so it starts cracking? Uh, it just gets hot. This rubber right here. Yeah. It just gets hot. The only bad thing about these things is this lens right here. Yeah. It's really expensive. They're expensive. Are they? And the reason why I wouldn't, I got rid of mine, is because when you go to like a fab shop, yeah, they won't, they won't supply these. So in a metal, metal fabrication shop, they won't supply these. What they'll supply is like the, the, um, the regular. Uh, like your regular welding hoods and stuff like that. Yeah. It's the smaller ones like this that go in here. But in the regular, like uh, regular welding hoods. Yeah. They won't supply it, but they won't supply these here. Hmm. So that's why I got rid of mine. Change. Yeah, as soon as you delay. hit the trigger and, and strike an arc, yeah. that's how fast it's gonna change over to where the lens actually kicks on. Probably the best I was to happen fast or Well, you really don't. You really won't notice how fast it really. I even mean, with it's like the slow. It's like milliseconds. It's even with the slow. Yeah, that's why I have mine, but I have the shade a little higher. So you want you have yours about nine and a half. Yeah, about nine and a half, almost ten. And. And that's one of the reason why I can't have it. I have it set kind of low because I can't see. So the higher you go, like say, if you was to put it over on 11, uh -huh. it would it would actually be darker. Yeah, I just I couldn't really see either. So, but I had mine about 10 and a half. I just moved it to about nine and a half. Gouging or something like that. You would want to put it up on like 11. Taking and gouging. Yeah. Um, so the sensitivity is say, if you were to look up there at that sun, you would want to kick it up to like 11, okay? Yeah. Um, but the sensitivity is like if, if somebody, you were in a fab shop and people were grinding and stuff around you. Yeah. It, it's gonna sit there and go like this all the time. Yeah. It's the the lens is going to sit there and go on and off, on and off, on and off, on and off. So that's where you kick it down. You keep kicking it down to the to the, to the low. Got you. Cool. And the lower you kick it, the less it's going to go on and off, on and off. Mm -hmm. I like it. I got your settings in there. I'm gonna see your settings, how you have them set at. I usually set mine at about 10. I think it's hard to set on. Oh, you have it real sensitive? Mm hmm. Okay, and then you have it about nine and a half. Cool. Well, wow. fast enough, you end up messing the tips and stuff up. This is best to start on the low side, on the high on side. On the high side, yeah. High wire speed and high heat uh, voltage yeah so always start over here and then the wire on the high side yeah so the wire comes out kind of fast and it's already set hot yeah 
So then you, you don't have to mess with this. So you can come over here and then adjust this back down to where the wire adjusts to the hot. And then once it does, then you can come over here and adjust this back down like that. But if you start over here like this, and, you run, and you, you're like that, now you have to come over here and adjust these kind of both at the same time. Oh, yeah. So if you just set this to the hot, and this to the high like this, then you just have to come over here and adjust it like this. But if you run this like this to the low side, now what happens is that this the wire is kind of coming out real, real cold. Yeah. And it's just coming up real slow. So that's when it sticks to the wire. Uh, yeah. Sometimes the wire sticks, so you're not hot enough. Right? Yeah. You end up. You end up. The wire comes out real slow and it'll, it'll kind of burn off, but it'll burn back towards the tip. So is this Ends a pretty good at home welder right here? Yeah. Pretty decent. This is better than the one we got shot. When we got shot, so jump. <laughs> So I have the floor pans, I'm going to actually paint the underside before we weld them on. So uh, what I'm going to use is my grease and wax remover, I'm just going to clean them up real quick. Then I'm going to use this that I had laying in the garage, it's a rust barrier, I think we used this on the C10, we were working on a while back but uh you can actually paint it over rusted and bare metal so i mean obviously i don't want these to rust any and gonna see how it comes out a lot smoother than the gloss black paint that I normally use um, and uh, it also sprays a lot lighter so it seems like you have to use a lot more but it actually looks real nice right now that is well we'll see how it looks when it dries I'll do probably one more coat after the spray a lot smoother than the gloss black paint that I normally use. I will slap them on. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, the other one would cover a lot quicker. And this one, it's not covering much. But uh, it seems like it's a lot thinner. So you won't have as much runs. So uh, I have a little bit left and then it's probably all almost spray. So we'll see how it look when they dry up. I'll let them dry about 30 minutes and I'll spray them again. The battery is. The battery is disconnected. We don't want to fry anything. All the electronic devices we got here.
Sunday fun day. Check it out. Sunday fun day. Let me share something with y'all that uh, I pretty much preach all the time, especially here lately, is uh, get out there on your free time. Get out there, enjoy the the you know, nice weather. Uh, you know, I'm coming from a huge Cowboys fan. Football will keep you on your couch all day, especially Sunday. And you know, if you want to catch one game, I, you know, I, I do most of the time. But don't let that be priority over other stuff while you're sitting there watching your, the football game, somebody getting their car done. So get out there to that car you have in the garage, been having for a long time, get it done, get going. And if you look at life that way, you'll get a lot more stuff done and you'll be beating out the guy that's sitting on the couch all the time. I understand you feel tired after work and don't really want to do anything hardest part is getting out there after that you'll love it so i encourage everybody get out there get your cars done let's do this enjoy the day all right god bless <clears throat> so we're gonna have to cut a, a lip on that uh floor pan just a little bit so they'll sit flush it uh sticking out just a little bit so what we cut in brent about a eighth yeah, quarter about, about an eighth yeah we're gonna cut about a quarter off that lip so it can sit flush all the way. Raised up about three eighths right here. But the piece that I left in here, yeah, I took it out. 
cut this corner right here. And it should see if it'll let it down. If not, maybe need to cut a little more on the plate. I don't looking good. Hey, hey, come here. You see, when you run, run it cold. Yeah. And then when you run it hot, see the difference? Cold and hot. Yeah, that's. See how it's flat? Yeah, that's what I was doing when I was trying to weld. It would always stick on me. So the wire would. So it wasn't hot enough. That's pretty cool. It'll kind of ball up and then it'll it'll actually kind of melt in. That's why I start hot. Why I start hot and then set the set the wire kind of high and then come down because if you run it cold, what'll happen? It'll just it'll it won't come out real fast. Yeah. And then it'll kind of burn back and it'll ball up. Yeah. So you want to start hot? Just the first one you did was the settings that you were when yeah. you were doing the last time, right? So you want to start off hot and then. Kind but of this is out. the first one. Remember when we turned it down? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we well, were showing it. Yeah. So we so turned it down. That's what we have it right now. That's. Yeah, and then I had to went back and now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got to take it underneath here. So. Where that brace comes right here? Yeah. I got that one tagged. I got to take it right here. And I got to cut it right here. Right. And then we'll just lay it down. And then this piece right here goes over there. Yeah. And we got to fold this down. Ooh, get in there. Me holding. Uh, yeah. You see that right there? Huh? He told me to hold it down with my bare hands, and he burned the crap out of me. Look at that on purpose. Wait. Yeah, don't put it in just yet because I'm gonna I'm gonna paint that. That's where that one goes. Like that.
All right, so I'm sure y'all thinking, damn, is there gonna be a part three to this video? And yes, there is. Uh, this video is intended to try to teach y'all a little bit of, of how to install floor pans and, and obviously entertain as well. And I'm learning, as y'all can tell, because I'm not doing most of the work. Um, I'm getting taught, I'm learning just as y'all are. So. Um, I did want to give you all a little teaser of a feature video that's coming up and uh, kind of want to remind you the ones that haven't subscribed go ahead and do that because uh, there are some videos coming up that I'm sure you all are going to watch and you are going to watch part three of this video as well so hit the subscribe button but uh, what I have here it's A piston off of 440 source.com this is what I'm gonna be using I'm going with a 512 stroker kit from 440 source.com and uh, pistons came in so I wanted to show you all that just kind of as a kind of like a little update on my engine build those of you that uh haven't seen much of my videos. I am working on a 440 rebuild. My car is a 318 right now, and I am going back with a 440. So just keep an eye out for that as well. But uh, on this part three, we will be shooting here probably in the next week or so. So if there's something that y'all wanna know or y'all want us to specifically talk about or or shoot during this part three let me know uh, in the comments below go ahead you know this is uh, for y'all one last thing that I wanted to say was I'm about to hit 300 subscribers so if y'all could help me out with that that was my goal for the year I'm about to hit a year on my YouTube channel that'll be awesome and I will greatly appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button so uh, thank you very much and God bless you all